I'm Cammie, and I'm a developer advocate at Oculus who works on product and features for our developers who are helping us shape the future of VR. These videos highlight new releases, tools, and opportunities that developers like you can leverage. Whether you are a published Oculus developer or a hobbyist experimenting in VR, it is worthwhile to understand what makes a quality Oculus application. In today's video, Angel and I are going to talk about the Oculus Virtual Reality Checks, or VRCs. We'll overview what they are, what's included in the guidelines, and share some VRCs that we consider as noteworthy. Now, let's hand it off to Angel to dive into VRCs. Hey folks, Angel Labate here. I'm a store launch manager for Oculus. Now, VRC stands for Virtual Reality Checks and are applicable to all Oculus platforms. At Oculus, we want your VR application to ship at the highest quality possible. And we have found that adhering to the VRCs makes your app more compelling and accessible to more people. Now, we have documentation and test plans for VRCs on each device. VRCs are required for publishing your VR application. Consider them both requirements and best practices to ensure that you are on the right path with respect to performance and technical implementation. Within the guidelines, you'll find a list of required and recommended VRCs for publishing your application on the Rift Store, Quest Store, or App Lab. The categories for VRCs include packaging, audio, performance, functional, security, tracking, input, assets, accessibility, and streaming. You can review each VRC individually in the developer docs, and the best way to look at this information when you're preparing your submission is in a VRC test plan. This is a spreadsheet view of the same information that you can use as a checklist. This follows the same steps to test that Oculus uses to review submissions. It may seem like a lot to incorporate into your application at first, but you may come to find that these steps actually are a net positive for your app experience. The VRCs do ensure a good, consistent app experience that we find translates to more positive user reviews and feedback. Now, let's kick it back to Cami for a deeper dive on some VRCs in action. Cami, what you got for us? So hopefully now you have an understanding of what VRCs are. Let's take a look at how some VRCs are used in Oculus applications. The performance VRCs ensure that your app is responsive, performant, and able to render graphics at a quality expected for an Oculus Quest app. VRC Quest Performance 1 states that your application must run at the specified refresh rates, which you can find in this VRC's detail page. This is a required VRC for both the Quest Store and App Lab. In practice, you can see this across the board in any Oculus application. All applications should be able to run at the required refresh rates for the entire experience. So when you're developing your VR application, there are tools like Oculus Developer Hub that can help you track the functionality and performance of your experience. Next, the functional VRCs ensure your app functions according to Oculus standards. VRC Quest Functional 1 states that your applications must install and run without crashes, freezes, or extended unresponsive states. Similarly, this VRC is required for both the Quest Store and App Lab. So in any application, you should be able to play through the content for at least 45 minutes or the length of the content if it's less than that. To test something like this, you can walk through your experience for 45 minutes and monitor its activity through tools like ODH or the Unity or Unreal profiling tools. Finally, the accessibility VRCs make sure applications are playable by broader audiences regardless of any affordances that they may need. These VRCs aren't just a checklist of ways that your app can break, but also you can ensure that your app meets our best practices for things like accessibility. The accessibility VRCs are recommended, so you won't fail if you don't meet them, but they're still a good idea to implement in order to maximize your potential audience. VRC Quest Accessibility 6 recommends that the app should either provide colorblindness options or use other techniques such as combining color and pattern for easy visual distinction. As I mentioned earlier, this is a recommended VRC for both App Lab and Quest, and you might be able to accomplish this by using symbols or labels in addition to colors when marking different interactable objects in your VR application. 
There are many other important VRCs within the guidelines, and it is crucial to familiarize yourself with the required VRCs, so that way you can incorporate them as you develop your application. It's also good practice to adopt the recommended VRCs as well to index on quality. Finally, it's important to mention that if you need to make any VRC fixes or accommodations after submitting your application to AppLab, you can update your build in the Oculus Developer Dashboard. So, to get started with VRCs, read through the VRC guidelines documentation, check out the VRC test plan, and share with the community how you incorporate these VRCs into your application so we can continue to develop these best practices together. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.